Hey container gardeners. So here's what I got going on tonight. Um, this is my one of my uh, tank groups upstairs and they're all on a common sump. Uh, the, I've been running this one for me coming up on a year with this common sump. And one of the issues that I've run into is if you can see uh, if you can see, I, I know that's kind of hard to see, but I uh, just ran an elbow. I ran an elbow up, and that sets the, the water height. But I, I'm getting a lot of a lot of uh, poop sitting in the tanks, uh, especially you know, especially with these shabunkins. So, the, the problem is, is, you know, I would run these big bubbles. Run, I would run the big bubbles and I hoped that the bubbles would pick the poop up and make it to this drain. But, the, first of all, the drain just didn't flow quite enough because I, uh, I was running a half inch, uh, half inch ID tube as a drain. And this this just doesn't flow much, so I I use these. Uh, let me go get them. I didn't really. I, I I can't order any new bulkheads. Bulk Reef Supply is out of one inch bulkheads, so I went to Menards and bought a couple of these. Uh, what do they call them? A socket. A socket reuser or socket saver set. And I, I unthreaded that that male fitting out. I unthreaded this out. And I started with a half inch and then I did a three quarter and a one inch. And with it was kind of rough, but with the one inch I made it all the way through and I even broke loose this elbow that I had glued in there. So I was able to reuse the bulkhead, which is you know pretty important to me. Because they're you know six seven bucks a piece and I on it I, I glued them in I don't know if you can see this I have a little uh, aquarium cement and I I glued the gaskets so I didn't want them to leak and I didn't know if I could remove them without breaking my tanks so that's kind of why I was wanting to try and reuse one of them and here's here's what I ended up with I got a I drilled this one out and I got a one inch with a half inch port. I, I drilled that, but then I I needed some more space to get the drain back down to my common drain for all the tanks. And I left this. We'll see in the morning, see how good it seals. But I just pushed this joint together so that I could just uh, kind of dry fit this in here. and This is a three quarter in a one inch hole and I, I know I'm flowing tons more because I got this, uh, this valve is open all the way, you know, compared to the height of this tank and then this valve is not even open very far. So I'm flowing a heck of a lot through this tank now. Uh, next next setup, I'll probably end up doing, you know, I'll, I'll plug this hole and just run the run this T as is because uh, the the drain comes up off the bottom. I spaced it off the bottom three eighths of an inch, and this keeps it from this keep this hole keeps it from siphoning because without the hole, you know, if I plug both of these, I can't really. I don't know if I can get it to get it to siphon, but you know, without without a breather port, then it'll siphon and it, it'll draw the water level down all the way to the bottom of the tank. I like this idea a lot more because I can throw duckweed in for my goldfish, 
uh, and not not worry about it making it into the drain because all these other tanks I you know that was always a worry was having getting food lost in the drain or uh, this is probably a better example the food could get lost in there duckweed could is kind of a waste but now all my food all my food floats and won't get picked up by the drain I'm just kind of experimenting with overstocking and overfeeding one tank because I want to see how well the poop makes it through this tank to the drain and I don't know if I can give you an example of how close to the bottom that is but it might be a half inch hopefully that sucks up all the poop you know the the only option would be to run run more water flow you know you got to run more water flow so your drain your drains draining faster but I, I suspect maybe that'll be about all the more these drains will want to drain so I'm pretty excited about this this new setup because you know it, it's enough trying to get into these tanks and scrub this algae off the off the walls and keep that clean but then having to come through and siphon up poop that sits and you know if I could uh, get rid of one step of maintenance which would be vacuuming up poop well then I could spend way more time trying to keep the, the algae off these tanks uh, I, I just you'd use this tank you know I kind of it as a sacrificial lamb but I, I plan on putting all these goldfish back in their proper their proper tanks along the row and I'm gonna make this the bog because I'd broken the plexiglass lid for this tank so it'd be better if I could just uh, grow duckweed in this tank and uh, keep it low moving and uh, suck those nutrients out and you know when, once I get some duckweed build up well then I can scoop it out and just throw it in the tank right next door and, you know eventually I'll have all these tanks on the same drain set up and that's exciting to me so I just wanted to share this with you guys uh, you know don't don't judge my fish you know I got 15 goldfish and a 20 but I also have a hundred you know this is a hundred gallon system so it's not you know it's not really a big deal and I'm also adding five gallons an hour of fresh water to everything right now so well, thanks for watching I just wanted to share that with you bye